You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Jordan 8. These are the Jordan 8 playoffs. But before we jump into it, we want to give a huge shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get an early look at one of the most hype retros of the year. Make sure you guys give them a follow. We'll put the link down below for you. Here they are, the Jordan Playoff 8s. They feature that black Nubuck upper, a neoprene Hirachi-like booty, a Chanel Jordan logo on the front of the tongue. They come with flat black laces in the crisscrossing straps with the plastic buckles that connect to the Velcro straps in the back. And we've seen the comments. Some people prefer to wear them unstrapped. Me personally, I like to wear them strapped down, but there's no rules. So just do it how you want to do it. I'm going to wear them how I want to wear them. Taking this down to the toe box, you have more of that new buck material and you have more new buck overlays on the side panels that connect to the straps. You have these perforated holes on the side panel as well for breathability. And underneath that, you have the white plastic pieces that house the bold, sharp lines in black and red. Above that, you do have the Velcro straps that have Air Jordan spelled out. And right above that, you have these circular patterns with more perforated holes. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have more of that new buck and padding on the back of the heel cup. And then you have that red pull tab. Taking us to the midsole of the shoe, it's a polyurethane midsole with a shiny black coat that encapsulates the air units. And then taking us to the outsole of the shoe, you have the circular traction. Then you have all these bright, vivid colors. You have the golden yellow, the varsity red, the Concord, and it's mixed in with bold lines of white and black. A true piece of art. Man, again, huge shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get an early look at these. This is the shoe I've been waiting for all year. This is sneaker of the year for me, as this version is closest to the original than all the other previous retros. Not only do they come in that OG Jordan box that you saw in the unboxing, but they also feature Nike Air branding on the insole, and they finally brought back the red pull tab that was absent from all other re-releases. It's the small details that count for me. Some purists are saying that the toe box is off, and that this new buck doesn't have those same gray chalky edges like the Dura buck did on the OGs, but that's not a deal breaker for me. I get where they're coming from, but it's still a must cop. We were so excited for these to come out. So for preparation, we took a look at a near dead stock pair from 2013. And we broke down a lot of the Jordan 8 history and lore. So if you guys wanna know more about the Jordan 8, make sure you check out that review as well. And more recently, I did an editorial on the Jordan 8. It's all over our social media feeds. So if you haven't seen us, make sure you give us a follow and check it out for a thorough breakdown. The Jordan 8s had a shock drop on September 14th, but they're getting a global release on September 30th, and the price point is $210. They're coming in all sizes, so you can accommodate the entire family. They even put the red pool tab on the preschool sizes. It's a great shoe for kids. Hopefully my children enjoy them as much as I will. As far as sizing goes, I go true to size in the Jordan 8s. There's a lot of room in the toe box. As far as comfort goes, you can definitely feel those air units in the back, and you can definitely feel that nice plush neoprene just hug your ankle. It's very soft to the touch. It does help with the comfort. And these are a little bit on the heavier, bulkier side, but they also feel solid, very durable. As far as style goes, this silhouette is still very futuristic looking. 30 years later, an all black high top with bold colored accents. I like to wear them with jeans. I like to wear them with shorts. There's many different ways for you to style this shoe. They're very versatile. So I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone's gonna get their fits off later this year. Tag us in your pictures, we'd love to see it. But how do you guys feel about the Jordan 8 playoffs? Were you just as hyped for these as I was? Did you mark it on your calendar? Gonna cop on release date? Did you hit on the shock drop? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We appreciate all the support. But let's go ahead and try these on.
I'm a chill guy to get along with, get on a song with, trying to bubble up like the water in the bomb grips. The heart and soul of the team on some Draymond shit, strong shit, get game crazy, that fade long shit. Back in some newer sneakers, you know who the leaders. I might pull up in the two seat, a bump and do a leaper. Send me five bands and I probably do your feature. Whoever hating on me, probably watching for the bleachers, trying to pop up in the visa, take a yacht off the marina. You bring a deal to me, don't you ever try to please us? I overanalyze shit, read the fine print, and I improvise when I do some things I haven't tried. Yeah, I'm lit, no heat check Really I'm him, grinding to the night shift Turn to the night swims, catch a vibe quick If you enjoyed this episode on the Jordan 8 Then make sure you check out all our other Jordan reviews right here We have a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy Make sure you hit that like and subscribe New episodes are coming soon We'll catch you on the next one